Justin. Your Titan's journey has come to an end. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This has finally happened. Evictions have happened. And the much dreaded eviction of the season has left our face out of the game. If this is your first time here, just subscribe. Little red button, bottom right, so I can just go straight to the video. Guys, today was really funny. It's funny that we knew that three people would leave. But out of the three people, we could only predict two. We knew that that last spot was going to leave either the bank, um, Kanaga, or Yvonne in the crossfire. And for me, that was really worrisome. Kanaga because I think he's played a great game and he deserves to be in the finale and I was afraid that this his canasty ship was going to be the a problem because he appeared in the bottom for some time back Yvonne because I know that it's not easy I mean the rest of the people have gone and she's the last girl standing for Nigeria and I, and I hope that she would survive Thabang for obvious reasons because I just loved the Kobang sheep and it was kind of giving me content for the as in lately since the show sort of took a deep when my faves left that was kind of like the exciting stuff so that's why I was worried but if you don't know already one of them got caught in the crossfire so guys let's go over the show so as usual Ebuka and Lawrence appeared in their very colorful regalia I must say Ebuka wore like it was like giving Benin um, Oba outfit vibes and I see a lot of Benin grooms wear that outfit as well However, I think it was Ugomoyen who made that outfit He did the bottom to be like a monogram um, Adire type thing and on the top he did like a mixture of lace and cord and different types of fabric It was really good, but you could tell from the overall look with the beads that it was like some um, something from the Benin kingdom in case you do not know Benin is a tribe or is it yes a tribe in Nigeria anyway so Lawrence wore like a blazer type long line blazer outfit but also super colorful even the stage today was really colorful there was some colorful vibe going on so as usual they got to the business of the day guys all the housemates were so nervous today like nervous even when they called the people that were evicted i could literally see cosy shaking ipileng like this was like a very very difficult eviction night for all of the housemates because who doesn't want to make it to the finale anyways the first person that was called was justin that was quite predictable we saw that coming i must say so justin was called out first and the housemate obviously hailing him juju baby he came on stage and they were like oh that you seem very happy to have left and it's like i'm happy that i came this far and i'm very proud of myself as he shows and they were like oh you were so zen like something about you you just seem like you don't really care whatever it is that happens you didn't really care all through the show and you managed to stay on the ground and it's like look he's gotten me this far to the finale so this is who i am and i'm actually zen and then that was it and then he did his signature juju dance that he does that thing he did it and after the chat they let him go the next one was black boy painful but expected Fine. black boy you have been evicted from the big brother house black boy has been such a game player so intelligent super creative and the boy has done so well for himself i was watching his entry video today and i realized he did everything he said he would do he brought in a lot of game he was super creative he was competitive and without a doubt black boy has made his mark on the show and we can tell with all of this creativity he will certainly do well outside so again black boy in his bright yellow outfit was called out when he was leaving obviously Cosi gave him a really nice warm hug because you know he has been Cosi's kind of like ally and he's been like there for Cosi especially in the last 24 hours where the bank was not speaking to her and as you know even last night after the fight Cosi went to go and meet him and said I want to sleep on your bed and 
black boys like please don't complicate things any further you guys are having an issue a misunderstanding you should focus on resolving that as opposed to making it more complicated and black boy refused to share a bed with her so black boy has kind of been like her sort of a security blanket lately from all of it and i feel like if there was no black boy she would have made up with the bank but you know cause she always looks for the rebound guy like no guy can mess with me i'm gonna move to the next one so anyway black boy has been there for her so she gave him like a really nice warm warm hug and ippy leg busted out crying <laughs> and when she hugged him she was like black boy i'm so sorry i'm sorry black boy like you had a chance to save him but you played your card with the boo boo thing which is okay it's a game at the end of the day but you did him dirty and that is a fact regardless of that if somebody holds i remember that task if it learned one black boy held her hand you know if leg is always shaking that particular time black boy was sitting next to her holding her hand and they promised each other that we are partners and we're going to take each other to the finale she had no business actually picking a boo-boo she the whole reason that she said she picked a boo-boo for was that uh, she wanted she didn't want to be the last person that would be called she wanted somebody who she thinks they will call before her but it's a lie because a boo-boo is still stronger than her regardless but anyway let's leave that topic for another day so obviously he paint had a black boy did not make it she was sad about that and crying and obviously anyway black boy came out and black boy actually mentioned it in his interview like it wasn't meant for him to be in the finale like he was so close to it so many times he lost the task he was the person that was run out to Ipileng. he lost it if was meant to save him if didn't so the way he looks at it he wasn't meant to be in the finale but nonetheless like i said before black boy has made his mark and he was such a vibe so much energy the way he was like interacting with the viewers the audience um the crowd that was on the show and he seemed super happy you know and content because he knows he has brought his a game on the show and that was black boy's exit finally the one that we knew that oh who would it be because right now we already knew that there has to be three people so if you could predict justin and black boy who next with the remaining people it was a bit harder to predict who will leave out of yvonne tabang and kanaga again we waited and the time came the next housemate to be evicted from the big brother titan's house tabang oh, oh my baby and evoca announced that tabang was leaving even him he seems shocked everybody was looking at each other tatty with her mouth open cosy shocked and you know him and cosy they've not been talking to each other but cosy where um he went and he gave cosy a hug and a peck on the lip to to see your head now see quarreling so i'm like huh you people are still kissing i thought you were quarreling but anyway they shall hug each other i'm like oh my chest there goes my kobang sheep I was really really sad about that particular eviction i didn't want it to go it would have been kind of nice like see this evening now they're all sitting by the fire it would have been nice for kosi and taban to be there like this final we just chill and just talk about the future together i know i'm a dreamer but guys that was one ship that i really like that was one twist to the game that i didn't see coming and trust me that was exciting all you judges keep your judgment to yourself i love them i like that they are exploring that or oh, whatever that is in between them even though i know that it's a game and they were both playing games that was kind of fun to see you must agree right so eventually ebuka and lawrence called tabang to the stage and oh beautiful tabang is so yummy anyway so tabang got on stage and as always they asked him all the questions and tabang you know the thing about tabang is that he's really smooth and very suave and when they asked him all these questions, they started from Oli Oli, like what happened with, with Olivia? They were going to talk him through his different relationships. And he's like, oh, Olivia was the first, like literally when we just got into the show. And I actually did not know her. And the only time I got closer to Olivia was the week that she left. That, so there was no way that that was a possibility. And they also asked him about... Um, was he called Nelisa? He was like he was having a hard time trusting Nelisa, clearly because of all the things that had transpired between herself and Nelly. And you know, Nelisa used to say that she, he questioned all her relationships, her friendships, even like with even Yemi that was a partner 
Sabang questioned that relationship as well and Sabang complained about her jumping on him and things like that so he said it that he actually struggled with trusting Nelisa afterwards and then finally they asked about Cosi and he was like yeah he really enjoys Cosi's company and that that was a relationship that evolved that even when people were insinuating that they had something together that there was nothing going on at that time that it was eventually after all the talk talk that they actually decided to take it to the next level and that it wasn't planned that it just happened and they asked him about his strategy getting into the house it was like he didn't have any strategy that he knew that being himself was going to get him very far i mean it got him to week 10 and he's very proud of himself and very proud of his accomplishments and we all know that tabang did super well he was ah, such a gamer he played very well he was super intelligent he won a lot of things like tabang is the smartest 21 year old i always say that like the boy's maturity and i feel like even in this game because he's playing this emotional game he knows how to hold himself and how to carry on with himself he's not a pushover he's not somebody that because could have easily controlled i mean look at that fight i guarantee you that if it was him and um because and yemi by yesterday Yemi would have gone to go and beg Kossi. But look at Tabang. Tabang held his ground. It was just when they were about to say goodbye that they were hugging. And then they now pecked. I'm just like, look at you people. Waste of time. The time, the few hours you could have spent together. You spent it quarreling. What does that mean? So anyways, that's how the whole Tabang moment went. And that was it for Tabang. I am genuinely going to miss Tabang. I actually really enjoyed that ship, if I must say. Beyond that, I enjoyed Tabang as a game player, Arena Games, the way he was like super fast, and it was actually really funny as well. So, and I think I saw the growth in the game. I mean, it went from a Tabang who seemingly didn't even really want to interact with Nigerians. I could see a wall, and Tabang is like from he's a Sueto boy. He was like, he just grew up knowing that Omo, um, this is where I'm from. And he was just always like creating, you know, that divide, that wall, because he felt like, he even said it in the house some days ago, that even in school, he used to be ashamed to say that he was from Soweto, but now that he's like super proud. And beyond that, we've seen growth with Sabang, he interacts with people more. Before, when they are playing music, if they play Nigerian songs, they will go and sit down. But now he's even play, saying Nigerian words. And you know, he's closer to a couple of the housemates now. He's warmer to other cultures as opposed to initially that we all thought i mean i've seen people even say tabang doesn't like nigeria that wasn't the case he just wasn't very open to other cultures especially somebody who is really like from a place that is very cultural so he's just like opposed not opposed but like slower and less receptive but we saw that change on the show we saw him now he can even sing the songs and dance to the song and he's a lot nicer and warmer to the rest of the housemates and i believe that that is what this show is about it's about learning and unlearning even us with the way we're like oh we don't like this type of music now we're chanting to a lot of the songs and well and i really love that cultural fusion which is kind of like the best thing about this bb titan so eventually big brother congratulated the housemates calling them finalists oh they were so happy so so happy from being so nervous like it was such a relief especially for kanaga i've never seen kanaga like this he took his chair sat in front of the screen it was almost like he was ready for whatever and he went to everybody just looking and seeing um what's her name Ipileng, very emotional tati you could tell that that one she doesn't really care about anybody she was just like very happy saying oh congratulations babes you did it girl you did it girl she seemed like just in high spirit and you know rightfully so so all of the housemates they hugged each other group hug they were all very happy very emotional and very proud of themselves as, as they should be big brother had like little refreshments outside for them in the fireplace and they all sat by the fire and just did like their whole little gisting about how far they've come and that was like really interesting to see as well i'm super happy and congratulations you guys did it for the voting we saw how africa voted yvonne was topping that chart um i can't believe kanaga's people you guys did it even though they are saying it's that is people that helped them so at this point i think everybody should focus on their focus vote your fave stop sharing votes vote your fave so that you will know that you did your best for your fave not that you will lose a spot trying to save somebody else 
in case i'm not saying that's what happened no i'm just saying in case so now is the time they are individuals they are not paired and it is the finale so everyone kind of needs to focus on whoever it is that they're pushing it's been a great show i must say we had our ups and downs we had our moments but it's been a great show so far and guys you can be guaranteed that i'm going to be giving you updates back to back this week don't worry about that be rest assured i got you this week i'm going to try and follow the show as much as i can in this final week because i think that a lot of interesting things should actually happen so if you haven't subscribed then you're doing yourself a disservice i am the plug i'll tell you for free my name is chicks js i am chicks js everywhere to subscribe is free of charge there is not just tv subscription and the thumbs up stuff now free so please just give it to me baby give it to me little red button bottom right thank you so much for tuning in and again congratulations to your faves if they survive and if they made it as we look forward to the finale guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in i will see you in my next video bye guys